Hello and welcome to this week's episode of CBTV. Treasurer Wayne Swan has finally handed down his sixth budget with his sixth deficit. Last year's promise of a $1.5 billion surplus is now another $19.4 billion in borrowings. This just goes to show how Labor's claim that navigated Australia through the GFC unscathed is a shocking misrepresentation. As a result of their reckless spending and mismanagement, they will have racked up $282 billion in national debt by June of next year. We are already paying more than $7 billion in annual interest, and by 2015, taxpayers will be forking out $35 million every single day in interest payments. All because Labor have their priorities wrong, and now they're cutting back on essential services for Australian families. They still haven't learned that of all the ways to stimulate demand in the national economy, government spending is the only component that is not self-sustaining, and it seldom creates productive activity. Unlike business investment and Australian exports, there is a limit to how much government can contribute to the economy. The government simply cannot keep borrowing money because eventually the taxpayers have to pay it back. But that doesn't seem to worry Treasurer Swan, who thinks hardworking Australians and their children should pay for his mistakes. His latest budget puts us all on the hook for more than $25 billion in tax increases over the next four years. It's about time some sensible decisions were made by those running the country. But unfortunately, that's going to have to be left to a coalition government, because it's clear we are the only political group that is committed to making decisions that are in the national interest and in the interests of all Australians. That's CBTV. I'm Corey Bernardi.